What is up, you beautiful human beings? I hope you're doing really well. So today we're going to be discussing Assassin's Creed Origins, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, I, in the past when I was thinking of making this video, I was saying to myself, what can I do that's different? Because there's a lot of content out there for this. So I thought I'd just give you my thoughts on the process and on the game, the games, and we'll just go from there. So, straight out of the box, these three games is not the same as normal Assassin's Creed games. In fact, if you go into them thinking, hey, I'm playing Assassin's Creed, you're going to actually struggle a lot. And you might have a problem with the whole formula. Uh, combat's different. And the amount of RPG... RPG-ness. <laughs> the amount of RPG that they've added into the game just completely changes the dynamics of it. You still, you know, assassinate. You still go around doing things and killing people. And um, the stories are still there. But... They are not like any other Assassin's Creed games. They feel very different. That being said, when I played the games, I played them in order. I played Origins, Odyssey, and then Valhalla. Now, what I can say is the amount of RPG that they put into the games, it starts off slow, so not too much in Origins. It's still there. It's still enough to make it a whole different game. Odyssey, it's there. It's cool. Quest are there, but it's a bit more Assassin's Creed-like in the fact of or, uh, Origins. Valhalla, though. Valhalla is completely late. They just like, took RPG. They took RPG and they went, woo! <laughs> they just like threw it out there and everything about it is pretty cool. Uh, for example, in uh, Origins and Odyssey, you just pretty much go around the map you do your missions, you see your cutscenes, you move forward. In Valhalla, you have a settlement, you have a place where you can build specific buildings and then just like grind and build the area up and do all those other things on the side. So it's pretty cool. Um, Valhalla is a little bit slower paced in its combat style, but I'm just talking about all three games as a whole. And it only goes down to this one thing. You should treat each and every single game that's mentioned in this video like a whole new thing. Because if you don't, it will get overwhelming, it will not be what you expected, and you might just lose out on it. For example, The dialogue options in Odyssey is a bit better than the dialogue options in Origins. So if you're not if you're not going in there saying they're different games, you're going to feel disappointed and left out. You're going to feel like a part of the game is missing. So treat it as different games. Um, just quickly, a little bit of gripes, and I'll then conclude on how I would attack it if you were planning on playing these games. In Origins which is ancient Egypt, it was very highly, uh, gods were very highly pushed on you. And as a Christian, it kind of made me feel a bit uneasy. I do get it though, it was part of the times and they were just setting the mood and setting the pace for it. So I just wanted to let you know that that was an issue that I had with it. It's more of a personal thing. Um, in Odyssey, I, I liked it. I feel like the story could have been a bit better. Um, Valhalla though, Valhalla was a bit more just like, it was like, here's the formula to get to the thing you need to get to, which is the main mission, but then you got to do it again and again and again and again and again, and it kind of just feels like repeat, it's on repeat. For example, this is how the game is played. You have to make alliances with everyone. Cool. Easy. So each uh, place you make an alliance with, they have their own missions, and I'll call them arcs. We call them arcs, so this arc, you do it, you do the missions, you complete that area, and then you go on to the next, and the next, and the next, and then there will be some missions for the main, and then you repeat, you do it again, and then the other missions for the main, you repeat, and you do it again for the other missions of the main. That's how it is. It does just make it feel so 
long and tedious. Some of the things you repeat, some things are different. The stories are obviously different from everything. And it all adds up to a big finale type of thing. It's just, yeah, taking your time, doing one arc, up, one arc at a time, pacing yourself and just enjoying the moment, enjoying the game. Great. I wouldn't mind. I would say don't go into trying to complete everything. Complete an arc, complete the area around it, and then move forward. That's probably the best. Anyway, the games try to make you more independent, and they don't hold your hand as much as they used to. Origins is pretty cool. It's just the same thing. Here's the map. Here's where you need to go. You go to the next location. Hey, here is where you need to go, and so on. Odyssey gives you a choice between that or when talking to NPCs, they'll give you hints. And then instead of just showing you on the map where you have to go, you follow the hints and figure it out yourself. Now, it, both ways are pretty cool. It's up to you. I preferred, um, you can switch between them. And I preferred that you just show me where I have to go and let me do it. But Hal, on the other hand, will show you where you need to be in the surrounding area. And then you need to figure it out from there type of thing like even if you use your crow your crow is not going to go to the location and tag the enemy that's there that you need to kill so what it will do though is show you where that location is and then you go over there and you'll find him it's pretty easy you just use your like animus vision whatever it is here it's called odin vision and you just you know do it so there's still a bit of hold handing it's not what a lot of veterans would like they would rather have no hold hand no hand holding at all but it does give you a bit of immersion um to just try and find these places and to try and get to them yourself and you have to start concentrating what actual people say which is another thing you skip so much and then an option comes up and you're like oh i needed to know the issues before i could make my decision <laughs> it's pretty cool so it's funny because i look through these videos during editing and i have no idea if they're going to help anyone <laughs> like to me it's like am i making sense i don't know but just really quickly the best thing for you to do is just treat them as individual games i'd rather start in the beginning origins odyssey and then valhalla um do whatever you want as long as they're different games though you should feel you should be open to what they are i enjoy them more I prefer odyssey that's done have a beautiful day guys god bless and i hope this video has helped